That's the day three, King Alfred's way. Starting out a nice sunny day today. And luckily, I've got my mate Greg joining me, so I'm no longer a loner. So this section of the route is called Last Line of Defence, following the Thames to Reading. And it's due to all the fortifications, pillboxes along the route, which were a last line of defence against the Germans. And they managed to cross the channel and invade England. Some really cool stuff left behind. Hey, bothering you. <laughs> at first off uh, going through Reading. I was expecting a real fight with the traffic. Uh, but as it turns out, they did a really, really good job of uh, making the route just take all the ways along the canals and other quieter little backways through Reading. So I've nearly not found it an issue at all. It's been really enjoyable. Uh, just on the very last little section of the day uh, before we head down to the Farnham and we treat to a lovely little bit of woodland single track. Really nice little way to round off the day. Ah, as long as I don't fall off. <laughs> Here we are. Unfortunately well, another rainy start for today, starting on day four, King Alfred's Way. Uh, heading up to Farnham Common and eventually the South Downs Way. Let's hope it dries up a bit. <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> I knew it did that. <laughs> Yeah, the river behind me is actually a ford crossing you can go across in uh, in drier weather but at the moment i think you need a life jacket for that don't fancy it we're up on french and common now and the views are absolutely stunning they stretch for miles around us gorse heather and it's a real change from other parts of the route. Unfortunately, my mate Greg's had a bit of a mechanical um, and had to bail out a list. So it's moving on for me by myself now. So I managed to fit a uh, two man tent on my bike. But uh, yeah, last little leg of the journey, going through some nice woodlands and fieldlands and kind of losing to descent. And you can see the South Downs in the distance looming there with the final climb tomorrow back into Winchester. Let's hope it's all downhill from here tonight though. <laughs> the climb was uh, pretty grueling to get up here, but you're definitely rewarded with the views by the time you get to the top. Makes it totally worth it. Must admit, pretty tired today, and I am struggling a little bit. It's been grueling with the conditions as they are. Just the tracks have been an utter mess for a large part of the journey. Uh, so much rainfall, but I've enjoyed it, and it's still, still delivering. The views are still good, the route's still good, and I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. I'm just definitely ready for my own bed now, and to uh, have a day off from cycling. I'll be back there, that's for sure. 
kind of summarizes how much rain we've been having recently. It's one of the main trails. Lucky there's a small diversion, but it's been insane. Well, that's everything. Back in Winchester, and as you can see behind me, statue of the man himself, King Alfred. It's been a great journey. And yeah, see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.